breaking news. Every police officer on high alert. Major threat issued. The University of Texas must have their hands filled with the repulsive behavior of a hardcore leftist group sparking violence towards police. The group has posted a picture of police officers on fire as they apparently call for the hatred and harm towards law enforcement. The group perpetrating violence is known as the Autonomous Student Network, ASN, and they're located at the UT Austin. In a now-deleted tweet, they showed French police on fire and had a sick suggestion about how to alter Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. Their idea was to call it Law Enforcement Incineration Day. Perhaps their goal is to have hardcore leftists set cops on fire, and that's what ignited the widespread controversy. The tweet said, Instead of hash Law Enforcement Appreciation Day how about hash Law Enforcement Incineration Day? ASN Austin, at ASN underscore Austin, January 9, 2018 inches. It has been deleted, but their account has other posts suggesting, in a roundabout way, a call for violence, resistance, and other deep left nonsense that does nothing to support a working, thoughtful, or productive society. This is the equivalent of domestic terrorism about to happen, and law enforcement should be very aware and on guard at all times. Fox News reports that the group describes itself as pro-liberation, anti-capitalist outlet for radical student activism. In other words, losers. Fox News continues with the statement from the leftist group of radicals. We see the state as integral to all forms of domination, as it provides a means for ruling classes to enforce their will and protect their power and enforces the ability to render individuals or entire populations disposable. We see police as an extension of this and refuse any negotiation with the cops. We hope to proliferate new forms of life on campus that break with all systems of control. Spread anarchy, live communism. That sounds like they have lost their mind and are preparing for war with an enemy. They don't realize that they are the enemy. Fox News spoke to a representative from UT Austin who denounced the group and said that the group called ASN is not affiliated with the school. They also claim that the radical leftist group is using the school's name without permission. Fox News stated. Sarah Josephine Kennedy, a spokeswoman for the university, told Fox News the group is not affiliated with the UT Austin, and if ASN is using the school's name without permission, this is something that we will have to investigate. The tweet drew strong criticism from law enforcement organizations across the country who called the social media message childish and a sign of disrespect for law enforcement. These types of antics are so disrespectful, especially coming from Texas where so many police officers helped with recovery efforts after the hurricanes and where police officers died in Dallas, Bill Johnson, the executive director of the National Association of Police Organizations, told Fox News. This group sounds precisely like Antifa but reports suggest that they possibly are not associated with Antifa. That doesn't matter because they are mostly the same thing. They're domestic terrorists who wish to cause harm to America and some of the fantastic things going on. The AS and Austin social media pages display numerous posts about events that go against the police. Here are some Twitter posts to elaborate on what they're all about. They claim to be ungovernable. That's fine. They are not an uh, or arrestable though. Fight ICE? How about fighting illegal immigration and law breaking? They should realize that protesters are usually the cause of their injuries. No, it's not racist. They are horrible places often covered in filth. They are often uncivilized and dirty. Is anyone going there for vacation, honeymoon, or for enjoyment? Not really. Facts are not racist. It's okay to call somewhere a dump. This is likely an insult to gays. The protesting type of people who do this often looks genderless and confused. If people weren't acting out of line or breaking laws, then maybe we wouldn't need police so much. They didn't fix anything. They just proved why people don't take them seriously. They should start fixing themselves so they can't breed anymore. Or perhaps get a job, live a fun life and stop acting like entitled children throwing temper tantrums. As you can see, the tweets by this group are somewhat childish. They seem jobless, genderless, and careless. 
If there's any violence perpetrated towards police because of this group, then they will be sadly mistaken as they face criminal prosecution. If the radical leftists go after the police, then be prepared for a very quick war. Like they say on cop shows, Bolo, Bolo.